Hi everybody, I was recently given this lawn mower. It's a Craftsman Eager 1 and it isn't very eager to run. As a matter of fact, it has been sitting for an undetermined amount of time. I don't know when the last time was that it actually ran or successfully cut grass. I took off the carburetor and it's not in the best shape. The float is completely frozen and the aluminum housing is completely corroded, primer bulbs all cracked, and I think it's pretty much beyond any repair. So I hate to just throw the mower away even though it doesn't have a carburetor and the bag is missing and there's a chip in the blade. So it's been sitting on the side of my house for a little while now and I recently had an idea that was kind of an evolution of my waste oil gasifier project that I was working on earlier, I decided I wanted to make a vapor carburetor that ran on vegetable oil, whether used oil or fresh oil, doesn't really matter. As a matter of fact, it might even work on used motor oil, but I haven't tested that yet. And this is the result of that project. I call this my Veggie Fuel Vapor Carburetor version 3 TT. I call it version 3 because it is a continuation of my waste oil gas fire projects that I've worked on in the past. If you haven't seen those videos, you can check those out right here. And it has the TT designation because if you look at it just the right way, it kind of looks like a bird. If you see here, it's got the leg here and the leg here and a neck. It doesn't really have a head. So it looks like a bird and it looks like it has a toothpaste tube tail feather. You see how that's crimped there? So that's version 3 TT vapor carburetor. And this was my first experience welding too. I recently got a welder and it looks like a volcano erupted right here. That's my first try at welding, but it'll hold and luckily it's not a pressure vessel. So the way this thing works is I load the reactor. I like to call it the reactor. That makes it sound scientific. I take this out here and put oil down here. And you can see here I've used it a few times. Kind of dark and stinky down there. I dump the oil in here and then I just close this up again and put the heat underneath here to start heating the oil. And what this does is it cracks the oil and a flammable vapor is created when oxygen is passed through the heated oil. So the way it works is I have some plumbing hooked up over here that goes down underneath and ties into the feed. And when the engine vacuum sucks air through here, through this hose, it pulls air here through the reactor, creates flammable gas, and then is ingested in the engine. At least that's how it's supposed to work. I haven't successfully got the engine to run on this yet, but I thought I should make a video of the first try. I have been able to create flammable gas with this mixture, but I want to make an engine run because that's a very important thing. Creating heat energy in the form of a flame is nice, but that's a very low form of energy. If I can create mechanical energy from my waste oil, that would be good. So last night I was able to create a flame with this reactor or vapor carburetor, whatever you choose to call it. Today I'm going to try to make an engine run on the carburetor. And you'll see I have it placed right here by the muffler. One of the critical aspects of this design is I need to keep this very hot to keep that oil at a temperature that it will break down and form a flammable gas. So I'm going to heat it up initially with a propane torch and the engine running and putting hot gas through this muffler should continue to keep this at least moderately warm to help that oil break down and I might have to give it a little bit of a booster shot with the torch while we're at it, but we'll just see what happens. And if you look here on the other side of the engine, in place of that deteriorated carburetor, I've just plumbed in a valve. This is the main valve for the mixture of the air and flammable gas. This is 
basically the throttle. And then I have the flammable gas coming through this tube. And then right here I have an air inlet, which I'm going to have to adjust to try to create the right mixture. See, I can't just feed the flammable gas to the engine. It also needs a little bit of air to make the right mixture. So I'll have to fiddle around with that a little bit once I get it hot, and hopefully we'll get some fireworks. So the first thing I need to do is load the fuel tank. I have some vegetable oil. This is soybean oil. And I'll just take off the cap here and dump a little bit in. I want to put in enough to run the engine for a while, but I don't want to put so much in here that it'll take a long time to heat up. I don't want to miss my TV program tonight. So we put some oil in here. Now we'll just replace this. As you can see, this is the air inlet. It goes all the way down here and contacts where the oil is kept and it's submerged in oil. And then when the vacuum is created in this chamber by the engine, it sucks air through this tube, through the oil, and converts it to that flammable gas. So that's ready to go. Next I need to heat up right underneath here because this is where that oil is stored. I'm going to heat this area right here until I start seeing smoke come out of the little crevices in my reactor because this isn't a totally sealed system, although it should be. It's not that well designed or anything like that. So I'll just start heating this. It should take about 10 minutes to get it up to temperature and then we can try to start the engine. So I've got a propane torch for the preheating phase. I've had my torch on the fuel reservoir for a couple of minutes now and I removed my intake line for the fuel for the engine from this connector right here so I can see when smoke starts to come out and that will indicate that it's almost ready to be used. And when I do start to see fumes coming out of this outlet, I'll take my handy lighter and test to see if it's flammable. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. I think we're just about ready. There's some smoke coming out of here. And if I hold my lighter up to it, I have flame, so I think I have gas that's ready to go. So I'll reconnect my line here. And I really don't know what mixture this is going to run at, so I'll have my throttle set at just a little bit open, and I'll have the air inlet closed completely to start. And then if I can't even get the engine to turn over at all, then I'll start opening up the airway a little bit to try to find that sweet spot for combustion. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. So I'll just give it a pull and see what, see what it does. Okay, I'm starting to get tired.
that's exciting. Maybe it's the smoke talking, but that's that's great. That's great. Okay, one more time, just for old time's sake. Well, I'm about tired out. Um, I think that proves the theory that this will even work at all. Um, whew, that's a workout. I pulled on that thing quite a bit. Um, so it's a a way to use possibly a waste product to get usable fuel and definitely not perfect looks like I got a little bit too hot my uh, my parts are kind of melting but hey this is an experiment and <laughs> yeah that ABS plastic doesn't really stand a chance this may be why it didn't want to run at the end it's completely soft. That's not rubber, that's ABS plastic. I don't like the fumes. Um, but yeah, the reason I did this is because a lot of people talk about using waste vegetable oil in their diesel engines, but although that works, it seems like using a waste oil that has possibly a lot of contaminants in it in a very specialized, high tolerance system like an injection pump for a diesel that's not the best combination. Although a lot of people do it, they do it with a lot of success. I kind of wanted to see if it's even possible to run a gasoline or petrol engine for those of you uh, over there, uh, England way, um, to see if you could run a gasoline engine on heavier oils. And it is possible. I don't like the fumes though. So I think version 3TT of my vaporizer uh, carburetor gasifier is going to be the last rendition of this uh, type of setup that I do. I've got some other ideas about finding combustible fuel without all the nasty smoke. I mean, you saw that, and uh, I fear for my lungs a little bit there. But that that's amazing. You saw it run just regular old uh, vegetable oil um, in my vaporizer carburetor. So, stay tuned. I have other plans for this engine, this uh, Eager One lawnmower, and that's really amazing that it even ran. I mean, it. I don't know when the last time it had fuel through its system was, but I'm proud of it. I know that the mechanics of this engine are good, and I know this theory has at least some promise. I'm going to go catch my breath now. Thanks for watching.